Hi, this is Don Campbell, and thanks for watching this ExpandToWeb screencast. Today I'd like to show you how to add a widget to the sidebar in your WordPress theme. It's really easy to do. Uh, let's take a look here. I've got a WordPress theme for small business owners. This is my uh, theme that's available on my website, uh, designed specifically for small business owners. And over here on the right-hand side you see a, a widget. And this is basically the default widget that comes with the theme. And if you don't have any widgets defined in WordPress, then most themes will display a default widget that they've added or no widget at all. In this case it always shows this one and with some instructions on adding your own widget. Now to change the widget we're going to do that from the WordPress admin panel. So let's go ahead and add an email newsletter opt-in form to the sidebar. So I'm going to go to WordPress and log into my dashboard to the admin screen. Then we go down here to the appearance section and click on widgets. What you're going to see now is a list of all the different widgets that you can add to your blog. And over on the right hand side, you'll be able to select the sidebar. In this case, there's only one sidebar. And it'll show you that there are no widgets installed right now. And that's why the default widget is, uh, is showing. Now there's one widget over here. Uh, you can get more of these, by the way, over the web. There's a lot of different uh, widgets that you can grab. But there's one in particular that's pretty valuable. It's the text widget. And we're going to use that one because you can put anything you want in this widget. And in this case, uh, we get to enter a title and some text for this widget. So what we're going to do is call this our um, newsletter sign up form. We'll say sign up for our newsletter. And for this, we're going to go get our form code. This is the opt in code that your newsletter service will give you if you have one of these. In my case I use Aweber. So I'm going to switch over to that and go grab the code for the form. So now Aweber is a service that allows you to collect um, emails for people and it uses a double opt-in process so that they're all legitimate and people know what they're doing when they sign up for your newsletter and it verifies them. And I've got a list set up called the Small Biz Sign Up Form just for this demo. And one of the things you can do is go in click on this link and get the HTML. Well, there's two options up here. One is the JavaScript snippet and the other is the raw HTML version. I always like to use the HTML stuff because I've had problems with the JavaScript snippet showing up occasionally on a ver variety of different websites. So I, I tend to like to use this one. So I've grabbed that code and I'm going to go back over here and just paste it into the widget. Now this form will collect the name and the email address uh, to sign people up for the list. I'm just going to adjust the size of the fields a little bit and you'll see what I mean in a second. I'm going to hit done and then I'll say save changes. Now WordPress is going to tell me up here that the changes were saved and if I go back to the website and refresh it you'll see I now have a newsletter sign up form. And what I did is I just adjusted the length of these fields um, from 20 characters down to 15 just so that they fit a little more uh, nicely in, into the sidebar. Now that's all there is to adding the widget. But with a newsletter or sign up form, typically you've got to define a couple of pages. And one is the page that it's going to take people to after they enter the data into your form. And the other is the final confirmation page once they've gone to their email and clicked on the confirmation link. So I've set up a couple of pages in WordPress for these purposes. So I've set up a thank you page with just some basic text as thank you for your interest in our tips and tricks newsletter. An email is on the way to your inbox. Please, you know, check it and, and click the email to, to confirm. Now once they get the email and they click on that link, it takes them to this final confirmation page. And this is a process that almost all uh, double opt-in newsletters follow to make sure that people understand that they're signed up for the newsletter and they're not going to get spammed and so all the good services provide this. So let's go ahead and give it a try. I'm going to go back to the home page and I'll go ahead and type in um, some um, extra email address here. And we'll just say Oops, I entered in the wrong else name DC, and then I'll just put the email address in and I'll hit submit. And now this is telling me <laughs> that I didn't enter a valid email address. So that's fine. Um, that's true. I didn't enter at gmail.com, so that's going to be a problem. I'm go ahead and um, hit submit again with a real email address this time. 
and you're going to see it's going to take me to the thank you page. So it's um, submitting now to AWeber. AWeber gets the request and redirects people to my thank you page. Now I'm not, I'm not going to take you to my email inbox, but once I go to my email inbox and I click the link in there, it's going to take me to this confirmed page. And that's it. So now we have the whole process um, done. Now the only thing that we need to do to finish this is we really don't want this thank you and the confirmed uh, on my navigation menu. So the Small Biz WordPress theme has a custom uh, options panel here. If you go back under the Appearance section uh, to the Small Biz options, then you're going to get uh, the ability to modify all kinds of things about this theme, including the, um, you know, the styles and the business name and all that stuff. What we're interested in here, though, is we're going to go down here, and I've got a section here where you can omit certain pages from the nav menu. In this case, um, we want to omit the, the the thank you and the confirmed pages, and we've already omitted the blog page. Just uh, mark all those so that those aren't included in the nav, and click Save Changes. Then when I go back to the site, those don't show up. We don't really want people to go to that page unless they're actually signing up for the newsletter. So that's it. That's all there is to it. Um, try it out and give me a uh, you know a comment in, in the comment section or contact me if, if you have any problems or questions. Okay, thanks.